is basically how I create this eyeliner look with eyeshadow. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. If you're new, then welcome. I'm really excited to have you here. Now, today's video is all about how to use eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's a look that you guys have been asking for for ages. Every time you see my pictures on Instagram or on my shorts where I haven't really focused on the eyes, you've kind of asked me like, how do you do that look? Please do a tutorial on this. So this is what this video is all about. It's about this type of look that is my kind of go-to signature look. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm also on Instagram, so you can catch me there for my reels or some unboxing or whatever you want. Now let's head straight into the video. I really wanted to show you this look because I feel like so many people have asked me on YouTube, like you guys have been leaving comments on even YouTube, like when I've been working on something else on my face and my eyes were already done, tend to ask the same question, which is like, you know, how did you do that eye makeup? Or even on Instagram, a lot of you, and I've seen, trust me, I know when you've come from YouTube because I, I recognize the name. You know, you guys are just a lot more engaging and I love that. And when you come over to Instagram and you're leaving comments and you're like, I want that eye look, I need you to do a tutorial on this eye look. Like, I've had a lot for this type of look, which is kind of a very soft eyeliner look. So I wanted to show you how I create that and really go step by step in detail. So let's get started. I have nothing on my eyes other than a bit of concealer, obviously, which is set with powder, which I use as my kind of like primer and it helps to just clean the area, give it a nice even finish. And I don't end up getting creases later because of the way that I do that, but that's not the look. So that's just how I prime it. You prime it however you want to prime it. Now I'm going to use a powder eyeshadow and show you how that you can use that as an eyeliner because a lot of people message me saying, you know, I tried using like an eyeshadow as an eyeliner, but I get a lot of fallout or, you know, what about the actual application process? Like how do you actually hold the brush? How do you press it? Like what type of brush do you need? What kind of like eyeshadow do you need? What the colors are as well? Because a lot of people tend to think that let's just go automatically to black because that's usually the color of eyeliner. Isn't really the case. I'm gonna show you how I create that really nice transition eyeliner look. You can use just one color if you want. You don't have to go like all out like me, but I like to transition it so it doesn't look black, but it also doesn't look one color. It's kind of like you have that depth there because there's a little bit of black there, but most of it is kind of like brown. So I really wanna show you how I create that. So I'm gonna get my eyeshadow palette and I'm using my Mario, Makeup by Mario Master Palette and the shade that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use number eight and I'm using my Sigma E05 brush, which is an eyeliner brush. I'm gonna just dip it into that. And this gives me a really soft kind of like, almost like an outline so that I know what I'm working with. Now what I'm gonna do is you look straight into the mirror and the first thing that I do is figure out where I want that flick. So I know that I want it to be about there. And you'll see this leaves a really faint kind of like finish. I'm using the tip of the brush very lightly. There, I've got a little line there. You can see it's really faint, but we're gonna do the same on the other eye to make sure we get it all even. Look back to make sure we're going in the right direction. Now my pressure, as I'm kind of getting to the end of the flick, is getting lighter and lighter and lighter, and that's how you get that faded effect. But if you want to, what you can do is actually use your finger and just to drag it out, just softly drag it out. Because it's an eyeshadow, it's easy for you to manipulate that. Because it's not like liquid liner, it's not gonna dry up straight away. So if you wanna kind of drag it to get a softer finish, you can do that. Now, what I'm next gonna do is I'm gonna be using black, and that's number 12 on this palette. I'm just gonna dip it into there. I always go like press it once on the back of my hand just to get rid of the excess. Now this is where I'm gonna kind of create a thinner line but on this line. So near the bottom part of the line, I'm not changing the shape or anything. I'm gonna basically draw another thin line. So over this eyeliner, but it's really gonna take up only half of this eyeliner if you see what I mean, it's the bottom part of it. Another quick thing, when I figure out where I want my flick to be, I know that I can't go to the end of my lash line because my eyes come down a little bit. So basically, if I go to the end of my lash line and then I draw that flick, I feel like I'm just enhancing that kind of droopiness there. So if you feel that your eyes are already nicely lifted, you can follow your natural lash line and go to the end of the lash line. But if you feel like your eyes are a little bit droopy or if you feel like they're pretty straight, but you want that more, more of a lift, 
lift then just kind of like just stop a little bit before the end of the lash line and start your flick from there and all it is is just a line going out right if you want to curve it you can curve it it's completely up to you what kind of style of eyeliner that you want so anyway we've got the black on the brush and this is where all i'm doing like i said i'm gonna go over this line and it's just kind of like kind of darken it a tiny bit just give it a little bit of depth what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that black and I'm actually going to kind of like go from the middle of the lash line here and go to the end of the, just where the flick starts. And I'm just going to like very lightly press it. So I'm not dragging it as you can see because when you're working with eyeshadow, it's always better to press if you want an eyeliner look. Taking it to where the eyeliner starts. You can see there's a bit of a dip there now, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to leave that dip there, but we're going to start from the middle. the end of the just where the eyeliner flick starts just make sure it's, that's nicely nicely kind of like blending into the lash line there you go okay so we've got that's kind of like going like that i don't like my eyeliner like that so we're going to fill it in a little bit now i'm going to take this brush and i'm going to go back into that other brown color which is number eight and this is where i'm going to start from right in the inner like corner of the lash line i'm going to like press and i'm basically creating a slightly thicker eyeliner look all the way across you see i'm just like it's and now this is where i'm filling that that dip by the way as well so now this is where i'm actually creating the shape that i like there you can see that's like you know like an eyeliner look now i do feel like i've still got a bit of a dip there so right here i'm just gonna fill this in a little bit don't worry if it's not like perfect because it is eyeshadow so we can easily kind of you know manipulate it So we've got that kind of like brown thickness going across now. Now what we want to do is kind of like just smudge the edges a little bit. So I'm going to get hold of my Sigma E30 pencil brush. I absolutely love these brushes I'm using, by the way, guys. Amazing. Like they last so well as well. Don't forget the links for these are in my description below and you do have a discount code, Nina UB10. So make sure you go grab those because honestly, I feel like it makes everything a lot easier and you're just more likely to get the, the right result with these brushes. So now what I'm doing, there's nothing on this brush. I know, I know it looks a bit brown, but it's just, did I say that? I know, I know, did I say I know it looks a bit brown? No, I know it looks a bit brown, but this is, you know, it's just the, the color that I've used before, but it's not actually, you know, it's not transferring. So there's nothing on this and I'm going to go back and forth very lightly. The brush is skimming the skin, so it's not actually pressing much. And all this is doing is basically softening that whole kind of eyeliner harshness there. See how soft that is now? Same on this side. Side to side, very softly. Don't do big movements, right? You wanna keep it small because otherwise you're gonna change the shape of the eyeliner and the thickness. Nice and soft now. We're gonna go back over to the E05 brush. We're gonna dip into the black. This is where we're gonna give it more depth. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press super close to the lash line, like literally focus on pressing onto the root, right? The root of the lash. And that's how you'll get that nice tight line effect. And what we're doing is we're just giving our eyes a little bit more depth. So it gives us that nice thickness when we apply our mascara. So don't focus on creating an eyeliner effect. This is where you're just painting the root of the lash and it will give you more depth. Just to the end before your flick starts, Now I'm gonna go into the really dark brown. This is matte 11, same brush, the E05. What I like is it's a really nice rich brown, but it's not black, but it's dark enough to give you depth. And now this is where I'm gonna start from basically the last kind of end of my eye. So quarter of the way in from the end of the lash line, that's where I'm gonna start. And that's where I'm gonna actually just kind of like give the flick more depth. So we've just kind of thickened the flick a little bit. And now what I do is with my finger, I just drag out very lightly and that kind of softens the end. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now, just to kind of like finish that off, I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush, go into that kind of nice light brown, which is matte eight. And then I'm just gonna go on my lower lashes and paint into the lower lash root side to side, very lightly, because I feel like this just finishes it off nicely. 
I'm still kind of like recovering from that whole reaction <laughs> from that eye cream. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch my last video, the previous video to this. Go in with some lash curlers. I'm not gonna put lashes on today, but I'm gonna buy some amazing mascara. More so because I just really want you to see what this eyeliner look looks like, you know. Lashes tend to like change the whole look and I love lashes as you guys know. But for this I really want to, I know not everyone wears lashes and I want to really just focus on the actual eyeliner. This is my Byredo Space Black by the way. Amazing mascara which I'm running out of. But thank god they've started this in Sephora here. Like you can now buy Byredo in Sephora in Dubai which is great. I'm not too sure if you can get this in the US. Let me know like how easy is it? to get hold of this brand in the US. Because honestly, it's really good. Oh my God, their perfumes are so good. Really nice perfumes. And the packaging is so like clean and understated. They do really nice palettes as well, eyeshadow palettes. Actually, I might do like a tutorial using one of their eyeshadow palettes. They've got this stunning eyeshadow palette, which is like gray, all like smoky grays in there. It's such a like old school palette, but it looks so good. There you go. That is basically how I create this eyeliner look with eyeshadow. I don't use any eyeliner for this because actually I prefer this type of look because I feel like with actual liquid eyeliner, whether it's a pen or it's like gel or anything, I feel like it can sometimes look a bit harsh and it looks amazing with certain looks. Like when I want, when I want that look, then I love it. But generally like if I, like day to day or if I want a really nice, I want the same effect, but I just don't want it to look so shiny or you know, opaque and like, just, I just don't want it to look so harsh. Then this is generally what I go for. And this is what you see me wearing in most of my videos, like in my reels and stuff like that. And this is the one I look that I feel like I get a lot of comments about, like how did you create that look? It does look absolutely amazing with a pair of lashes on as well, but you know, I want you to see it like this as well, because if you want to add lashes, then you can add lashes. I really do love it. And I feel like it's just an easy way and it's something that looks soft, even face to face, super, super close. It doesn't look harsh. It still gives you that lift. You get that really nice kind of eyeliner effect, but you've used something which is easy to kind of like, you know, like mess around with. You can, you can really easily mess around with these, with any eyeshadows that you use on your face, like on your eyes. You can just blend it out with your finger a little bit. You can smudge it with your finger if you want. Or use the brushes that I mentioned because they work amazing. So I really do hope Hope that you've enjoyed this and this is kind of like showing you how I create this look and I want to see you guys create it too. So how did you enjoy that video? I hope that it has kind of like helped you recreate that look and if you do don't forget to tag me over on Instagram. Now if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video take care and I'll see you soon.